Hi, this is Robert Plank, owner of Brutal Iron Gym. I want to show an exercise we can use to warm up our squat mechanics before actually squatting with a barbell. So here we have wooden blocks to elevate us, and we have a heavy kind of kettlebell here in the middle. So this is actually over by our cardio area. So sometimes we'll do like uh, concept rowers or ski ergs in a circuit with this exercise. So it's a great way to kind of get the body started getting into the movement of a squat. So what we do with this is we're actually going to stand on the blocks when we do the exercise. And the blocks will mimic the width that you would use for your squat. So I'm not actually taking a width that I would use for like a sumo deadlift. I actually want the foot width of a squat, whatever your foot width is for your squat. Then from there, in order to grab the kettlebell, I want to focus on pushing my hips back and my knees out. And I'm going to let my torso drop down at an angle towards the kettlebell. So I'll have my hands ready to grab the kettlebell. I want to push my butt back as I push my knees out. And this mimics what would be the bottom position of a squat. So again, I'll find my, my squat width. I push my knees out towards my pinky toes as I sit back. I'll grab the kettlebell and lift back up to the top. Then I'll do as many reps I want, say 10 reps of the same mechanics. So the hips go back and the knees go out. I go down to where I feel kind of the tightness and the depth similar to the bottom of a squat. I don't have to touch the ground if that causes me to round over in order to do so. I just want to squat as low as what feels like a parallel squat. So I'll do a couple reps. So again, butt back, knees out. I let my chest point to the ground. I'll pause and then drive back up. Butt back, knees out, pause and drive back up. So again, that's the exercise, and you can do sets of 10 of that, and again, what that teaches is good squat mechanics. So stay there. We can use our handy dandy PVC pipe, and you'll see that if I had this up on the back like a squat bar, it would be the same mechanics. I have my feet at that same width, I push my butt back, and I push my knees out, and squat back up. So butt back, knees out, squat back up. So this is a great way to get a feeling of what the squat should feel like before you go and put a bar on your back. So give this a try, usually three to five rounds or sets of about ten reps. Okay, good luck.